today we're doing a basic tutorial on the average ifs formula in Google Sheets. We're not going to go in full detail. We do have a longer video that does on our channel and we'll link to it in the description below. You can pause the video real quick if you want to take a look at the quick tips on this tab. But we're going to go ahead and move on for the sake of time and we're going to go ahead and jump in to how the average if formula works. So we are going to use the average ifs, not the average if formula, as it covers most of the scenarios in which you need to use it. So the average range is talking about the numeric column that you want to average the values for. So we're going to grab our quantity column. And then here we're actually going to compare it to fruit. And so I'm going to grab this fruit column. And then let me just go ahead and type this in manually, apples. And there we go. So our average order quantity for an order of apples was 32. Now instead of doing this double quotes and actually manually specifying the text, I can use my fruit text right here of apples and just like that. I'm going to drag this down, but I don't want to drag it down um, with these references like this because then they're going to automatically update and I'm going to lose some of my data. So I'm going to actually hit F4 to add these dollar signs when I'm clicking into that range reference. And if I go back in here and drag this down, you can see now we're getting our average order quantity for apples, oranges, and peaches. And just so you can be sure that that is working correctly, if we modify one of these, you can see that average just shifted upward. All right, let's go ahead and jump into dates. And so we're going to do average ifs again. We'll grab our quantity average range and our dates. Now, before we go into start and end date, I just want to show you that you can compare to uh, an exact date. And so this would be equivalent to equals. So everything, um, adding up the quantity here where the date is equal to 3, 1. So next, we're going to, if you want to do greater than or equals to, you have to do this double quotes and then the greater than or equals to symbol and the double quotes and then do an and reference to that date. And then to add the end date as well, we just have to add another criteria. And so we'll add date range again. And then now we're going to less than or equals to and then ampersand to add that cell reference. And just like that, we have our average order quantity based on our start and end date. And so you can see this is going to shift as we move our end and start dates around. As you can see, as we go further, the average order quantity goes up and down. <laughs> all right, so to wrap this up, let's go ahead and do average ifs for all the conditions that we've been using so far. So we're going to start with the date. So quantity, date column, greater than or equals to our start date, and then our date column again, less than or equal to our end date. And then finally, we're going to grab our fruit column and compare to our fruit there. And again, before I drag this down, I'm gonna go ahead here, hit F4 on all my ranges that I do not want to shift as I'm dragging it down. So I'm going to leave the I8 because that's referencing apples and I want that to go down to oranges and peaches. So because I locked those, this autofill should work just fine. And as I look in here, it works just fine. And so I can adjust my end date and see those change, 29, 22, 29. And then it shifts again. All right, that's it for this. The one thing I want to go back here and look at is we've done equals to less than greater than the only thing we have not done is does not equal and you use this less than and greater than symbols and so this is going to give us everything the average for everything except for apples all right so that is it for today for this basic tutorial on average ifs tune back again soon for our youtube channel for other more in-depth tutorials as well as quick tutorials for you